Hey, this is Captain Empathy, and I'm going to give a quick tutorial on the Subtractor Synthesizer in Reason. My current Reason version is 6, and I'm using a Macintosh, so the interface might be a little bit different than Windows users used to, but uh, you should still be able to follow. So this tutorial is for absolute beginners who have no idea what a synthesizer even does. Actually, no, you should have an idea what a synthesizer does, but um, if you just don't know how to use it yet, that's what I'm going to try and show you. Um, so, with that in mind, I'm going to initialize the patch. And you can't see that there, but I just initialized it, so... Actually, it was already initialized, so there's no change. Um, but anyways, so here's what the sound will be like when you have it initialized. And uh, you just have an oscillator going through a filter, and then an amp envelope. Basically, to change the sound, um, you can change the waveform. There's 32 of them for the subtractor. And all of them have somewhat unique sounds, so you can just play around with that and you'll probably find a sound you like. Next thing you can change is the pitch, and you have three different things that change the pitch. You have an octave, a semitone setting, and a scent setting. An octave is 12 notes, so it's... And that can go from zero all the way up to nine. I'm going to keep it at four here for the video. And then you have semitones, of, um, which are one twelfth of an octave. You can go from zero to twelve. For those with some music theory, a semitone is one half step. And then a cent is one hundredth of a semitone. So fifty cents is half a semitone. Negative fifty is also half. And you can go from negative 50 up to 50 for cents. Next up is the second oscillator. Does the exact same thing as the first. I'm just going to show you how you can change the level between the first oscillator and the second. Right now I have a fifth, the second oscillator, a fifth above the first. And it's mixed at 50% here. If you turn the knob to the left, you have 100% oscillator one. If you have it all the way to the right, it's 100% oscillator 2. You can figure it out from there. Um, I'm going to turn oscillator 2 off and now on to the filter. A filter basically cuts out frequencies of sound. So um, if you have a low pass here, it will let this sound through, but it will cut this sound out. And how it does that is it removes or it reduces the volume of that sound um, using a system called decibels. Um, and 3 decibel reduction will be about 50%, so 24 decibels is a lot. So you probably won't be, be able to hear this sound. Um, so a low pass will let this through. A high pass will let only this through. A band pass will let this through. And a notch will cut that out, actually. So low pass, high pass, band pass, notch. Um, they're all opposites of each other, basically. And then next up is the amp envelope. The amp envelope is pretty easy to get a hang of. It's just attack, decay, sustain, release. The attack is how long it takes for the sound to rise all the way up. Then after the attack is finished, decay is how long it takes to fall back down from the top to sustain. So if you have sustain up at the top, it's not going to fall at all. If you have sustain to the bottom, it's going to fall all the way back down until the sound is inaudible. Like so. And then lastly, you have release, which is basically once you release the key, it will take the last sound volume, and then it will take that, and it will decay again. So, so basically... Um, you have your oscillators, filter, and amp envelope, and you can actually get a pretty good variety of sounds using just that. So um, play around with that for a while, and then tomorrow I will get another video, which will show you how to use the noise and the LFOs, probably. Yeah. Um, so I'll get that up tomorrow, hopefully, and this is Captain Empathy, and I hope you guys have a nice day, and see you guys next time.